All right, everybody. Welcome to my playthrough of Pokemon Green. Uh, it's one of the things I've always wanted to do. Never gotten around to doing it, and now seems like a really good time since I just beat Pokemon Sword. So we're gonna play through Pokemon Green, and I don't understand any Japanese at all. I've played enough of the Gen One games that I think I'm gonna have a pretty good idea of what's going on, but. I don't have all the movesets memorized or anything like that, so it's possible I might be learning really garbage moves and we'll just kind of have to roll with it. Um, since it is a Gen 1 game, some of the new features like relearning moves or all of that, none of that is at play here. Uh, so this could be somewhat brutal and I may have a couple of off-stream grinding episodes where I'm just trying to build up my characters. Um, I'm also going to intentionally try to use characters that I typically don't use when I do playthroughs of the Gen 1 games. Um, so this could be a total train wreck, but we'll see how it goes. Alrighty, and I have done a little bit of goofing around with the settings, so I know I want this one for fast text. And I think I'm just going to leave everything else the way it comes. Alright. Here we go. And uh, yeah, this is going to be one of those games where I'm not going to be able to do any type of narration at all. Because obviously I have no idea what's going on. But yeah, so for those that don't know, the original... Um, The original uh, versions of Pokemon were red and green, and they came out in Japan um, before they came out in the. They were localized to the the rest of the world, um, and the first run of the games had completely different sprites uh, from what we got in you know the U.S. Um, and this game in particular has always just seemed somewhat mysterious to me um, and I've always wanted to just do a complete playthrough uh, uh, <laughs> items are I didn't think about items um, I really hope I don't end up tossing a master ball or something like that uh, this is gonna be rough Hey, who's your daddy? How goes your evening? Doing well. Finished my uh, my playthrough of Pokemon Sword, so I figured I'd do something completely bonkers until uh, the newer uh, remakes come out for uh, Diamond Pearl. And I have always wanted to play Pokemon Green, but never gotten around to doing it. <laughs> Sounds good.
Oh good, it healed me right after. So I should be good to go. Come get the potions from this guy. I'm trying to remember what these look like so that when I go this menu. Okay. Well, I know I've got two potions, so if I get confused, I can just look at the numbers. interesting it says poke or poke on the front of the pokemon center can't remember if that's what it says in the english one looked a little different and if i remember correctly i think instead of mart it, yeah it says shop awesome welcome back So yeah, what we're doing is, I've always wanted to play Pokemon Green. Um, the language barrier has always prevented me from doing so, but figured this would be super silly. <laughs> Have you played Green before? Nope, this is green. So this is like the original original that came out in Japan only. It's in essence the exact same game, just slightly buggy and um, the sprites are all different. I know there's a lot of smaller details about it all, um, but something about it being that game that was only in Japan that was kind of mysterious and I figured I'd give it a shot. So, I don't speak a lick of Japanese or understand any of this, so I'm having to go off of uh, memory from the game. <laughs> it's the... Partially because green version, partially because Bulbasaur has always been my favorite. Oh, hey, Banjo. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. <laughs> but yeah, Bulbasaur has always been my go to. I think the first time I played in red. Awesome. Well, if you understand written Japanese at all and are able to help me know if I'm about to remove a really good move or use the wrong item, please let me know. <laughs> I've watched a few episodes of some anime stuff that my brother-in-law and sister-in-law like watching, but yeah, I don't understand any Japanese at all. Looks like I learned another move. I'm guessing that's Leech Life or Leech Seed. Yeah. Okay, so we have Leech Seed. I 
can't remember if they give me Pokeballs. Um, Yeah, I definitely agree with the, uh, <laughs> with that comment. By the way, welcome, Hex. That's, uh, something that I'm kind of doing intentionally. I don't want to look things up if I don't absolutely have to. Because I think it would be fun to just try and figure it out as I go. But uh, if you guys think that I should, uh, actually look things up, let me know. I think I'm going to need to just run for now. Okay, my levels are looking okay. I also have no idea what the version exclusives for this one are. I'm imagining that it's probably pretty similar to the North American Blue version. So we probably have like Vulpix and Meowth. Uh, I have no idea which ones I'm going to add. I usually so when I play through by myself. <laughs> yes, I know they mean many things. I just don't know what they mean. Um, I'm yeah. Usually when I go through the game, I pick Bulbasaur as my starter, and then I'll either catch a Pikachu or a Caterpie and get it to Butterfree before Brock. Um. But I don't know, I guess I should let you guys decide. I want to catch one thing before Brock. And I know that there is the option... I think we can get Mankey and the Nidrans over this way. Um, we can get Pidgey and Rattata down this way. And we can get um, either Weedle or Caterpie or Pikachu up north. So, I don't know, what do you guys think I should get? So it looks like Pikachu might not be available. So far we've got a, a Mankey vote. Oh, and I guess if I'm catching things I should probably go get Pokeballs. All right, Mankey it is. At least assuming it's here. And that's not the shop, that's the Pokemon Center. Okay. Uh, I know the buying is the top option. Now I have to think. Uh, okay, usually... So I think this is a potion. I guess I can look at the prices as well. Let's... Okay, we're going to check the bag. Try to remember what that looks like. Little tea thing. Okay. Uh, I remember Pokeballs being 200. I'm going to try this. Just by three. If it's stacked with what I've got, then those were potions. Sweet, they're they're not. They're different. Okay, so before I waste all my money, I'm gonna go try to use these.
Did I just buy antidotes? I hope I didn't. These sprites are so different. I love it. Out of curiosity, Hex, do you speak Japanese at all? Or understand written Japanese? <laughs> okay, good. I just want to know who to take stock in and who understands what's going on. That's actually what I was terrified I just did, is bought a whole bunch of, like, antidotes or awakenings, and I tried throwing them at a Pokemon. Alrighty, I'm starting to think we might not be able to find Mankey here. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, hey, look, a Charmander, and throwing a bottle of fluids at him. <laughs> Why didn't it work? Alrighty, I'm not seeing any Mankeys, and usually they show up by now. At least in the, uh, uh, the playthroughs of the North American version. Um, I think I'll give it, like, five more encounters if I don't see anything. We may need to change our plan. <laughs> that is true. Maybe I need to go talk to the uh, um, the old guy blocking the way. And I, again, I don't understand Japanese, but I believe that uh, in the North American releases, they, they say that he hasn't had his coffee and he's just cranky. But I think in this version, they actually say that he's full on drunk. Okay, looks like Mankey isn't an option, so I may need to uh, come up with a plan B. Um, ah, that is a good point, Hex. Except... I am gonna... Oh. I don't know what he's saying. Does he... Okay, so he does show me. I just need to pick the right option. Got some items. Okay, good. We did buy Pokeballs. Has the two little dashes in it, so that is good for me to know. <laughs> I know, I was thinking the same thing. Unfortunately, shinies don't exist in this version. Okay, um... So it looks like Mankey isn't going to be an option for us. So we could do Nidoran, one of the bugs, or or Tatter Pidgey. I think I'm set for the first two gyms as far as type coverage goes. Um, I think I'll just head up this way. We'll eventually probably come back down and uh, do the rival fight, uh, heading west out of Viridian. But we'll see what we got up this way. Not sure I want a Pidgey. That is true. Let... I think I'm going to just go ahead and head back down to the route that I was on, and whichever Nidto shows up first, we'll go ahead and roll with that, whether it's a Nidto King or a Nidto Queen. Uh, 
Uh, we can get Moonstone in uh, Mount Moon. I actually think we can get two of them. However, I'm not going to be able to tell you the text of what they should look like. I think I know where one of them is. Yeah, right after the first gym. So I'll have a Moonstone for sure before uh, we get to Cerulean. Um... The question, the thing with that though, is if I remember correctly, in this version, once you use a Moonstone on the Nidorino, you really basically give up your move set that you could be getting. So I might stay in Nidorino, Nidorina. I guess Nidorina in this case. No, I yeah, I definitely agree with you, Hex. I mean, really, the only two outside of the Nidos are. Um, Clefable and Wigglytuff and in this gen both of them are normal type and their stats are kind of garbage yeah so I think I'm I'm going to go ahead in actually this is a decent level too I'm going to go ahead and catch this one um, and then we'll keep it in an arena until um, my Bulbasaur evolves to Venusaur and go with that <laughs> yeah, nicknames aren't happening. Mostly because I am always terrified with foreign language. So I, I guess I should take a step back and say that I speak um, another language. And when I was learning uh, Lithuanian, so when I uh, was learning Lithuanian, I would kind of make up words occasionally just to be silly. And there are a few times I accidentally like offended some people. So I'm always really worried about making stuff up and stereotyping. Um, so, yeah, I'm not going to go there. <laughs> we'll just go with the stock names for this. <laughs> I think the only way we're going to know is that there's literally a female symbol in the name. I'm pretty sure that's not a Japanese character. Okay. Um, I want to get some levels on this. So the risk that we're taking with having a Nidoran is that we now have two poison type Pokemon. So if we come across any psychic Pokemon, we are completely just hosed. However, this is also Gen 1, and really everything is just kind of bad against psychic. So we'll definitely at some point want to pick up something that is a non-poison type. And actually, I think about it, ground is also going to hurt. Yeah, we'll probably have to get, like, a... I, I've actually never used a Ghastly. So I know... Wait, I'm trying to remember. There was a glitch. Ghost is usually good against Psychic, but I think Psychic in this one is broken. Anyway, we'll probably just have to do something, like, super special tanky and just, like, bring in a... Lapras with Body Slam or something just to destroy it. Secret item? Yeah. Been a while since I played these. I don't know where all the secret items are, but we'll roll with that. I think there's something up here. Yeah. Uh, if I remember, I think that was actually a Pokeball. Um, yeah, it was a Pokeball. Cool. Alright, so if I happen to come across a Pikachu here, I'm going to go ahead and catch it. But I don't know if I'm going to have any of the others. <laughs> That's going to just become a running gag, isn't it? Throwing random items at Pokemon. Or I'm going to try to use a potion and it's going to tell me not to steal Pokemon because I throw a Pokeball. Oh, that's what it was. That's right. The poison typing. Uh-oh. Okay. I think I actually need to invert these two moves, because I think this is my tackle or scratch or whatever. Okay, it is. So I want to move that to the top of the list. Oop. <laughs> and then, of course, use the non-damaging move. 
Yes, there is a bike in this version. Wow, Banjo's got a lot of questions. Um, <laughs> uh, there is a bike in this version, however, you don't get it till, like, after the third gym or something like that. I, there's actually an entire section of this game that, re well, requires you to have a bike. If you know how to glitch your way through it, you can get through without a bike, but yeah. Bike road, bicycle path, whatever they call it. Professor Oak. Or however you pronounce his name in this version. And I just realized that I have no idea what the hidden item was that I picked up by the tree. So I probably want to check my inventory so I can keep this straight. That is true. Um, I think the next one's a Caterpie? Yeah. I think I could probably tank a couple more hits. Unless he just decides to string shot me to death. play super risky and see if I can tank one more. Haha! -ha. Sweet. <laughs> yeah. Antisocial Pokemon game, man. Love it. Okay, so these were my potions. That's true, especially in like the uh, Gen 2 remakes when you go and talk to him, all he says is dot dot dot. Exactly. <laughs> there you go, Hex. So if you guys could custom build my team, what six Pokemon would be on it? And I'm going to say that uh, the Bulbasaur has to stay, but everything else can be whatever. <laughs> yeah. So if we were wanting to go with one of the trade evolutions, I am playing this on emulator and there are ways that I can trade with myself to get that evolution, so those are a possibility. I would just have to play through a, uh, the Japanese Red or a, a second version of this one. But So I totally am open to Gengar or Alakazam or any of those. 
pretty sure I remember where to catch an Abra. I think it's north of <laughs> full poison run. That'll be great, except for, well, I guess the final gym technically doesn't have any, well, I think the Doug Trio has Dig, but I think everything else actually doesn't have ground moves. Oh, and that would also be a team that would get completely destroyed by Sabrina. More so than usual. I am liking the idea of uh, Abra, though. Or we could have the uh, we could have some fun and do one of those random team generators online. You just click the button; it tells you what has to be on your team. Oh, <laughs> I'm out of uh, power points. All right, well. Might have to run down to the Pokemon Center. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. Not going to get much uh, fighting done with just, was it Leer or Tail Whip or whatever she has. Someone learned something. I don't know what that is, though. Wait, was... Tinker Alice and Mickey and Mini Sword Gyarados? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm seeing seven Pokemon. In that party. Zapdos would be fun. We could do a... We could add a legendary to it. Actually, I'm just going to see a Bulbasaur here. So I would probably do either Gengar or Alakazam. We've gotten it a Queen already and Venusaur. Gyarados or Lapras? Gyarados would be doable. We would just have to get the Magikarp. Well, I, I mean, we could buy the one right before Mount Moon. Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl would be a tricky one because you get him really late game at a low level. Okay, so we got a trade evolution, we have a legendary. I also need to... Yeah, I need to get the, the rod, but you get that in the third city in Vermilion, so not an issue there. Um, I think Alec... Kazam would be good. I think I'd go with Lapras over Gyarados. Uh, mostly because Alakazam and, Gang er, and uh, Gyarados are basically going to be my rivals team. So it'd make it a little interesting we could go with the Lapras. I also have to think about HMs as well. So if we had the Lapras, that would give us our water. Aerodactyl would, or Zapdos would give us our flying. Snorlax could be our strength. And Bulbasaur can learn cut. So I think we would be set. That's actually a decent team. <laughs> so the funny thing about the uh, mat or funny thing about that Magikarp in uh, the Let's Go games, if you guys haven't played through them, it actually the text box when you buy it, it actually says you just purchased a ridiculously priced Magikarp. I'd have to agree with you, Hex. 
I guess if we got the Gengar, normal news wouldn't have any impact on it. But if we get the... That's really sixes for me between the Gengar and the, uh, the Alkazam. Yeah. I think I might do a playthrough of one of the Let's Go games here down the road. Um, just finished Pokemon Sword for those that haven't uh, been following along with that one. Uh, I'm doing Pokemon Green just as kind of a, a space filler for the Diamond Pearl remakes. Yeah, I agree with that, Hex. I know, I guess we'll just kind of play that when we uh, when we come to them. I, I still think I'll probably go Gengar. I've not ever ran a Gengar before. Well, mm, that would be another poison. Three poisons on the team might be too many. So I think we've locked in that we're going to go with, uh, with Alakazam. Alakazam and Lapras. That's... <laughs> yes, there's going to be some uh, teleporting issues we'll have to work with but I don't think it should be too big of an issue okay well, I know there's a hidden item up here I mean that's really the only way you can catch an Abra is just yellow balling Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the best place to, to get it as well. I'm not going to deal with that guy. Hidden item, which I think is a potion. Oh, you know, I should have been working on Bulbasaur. We need Vine Whip, and I think he gets that at 12, if I remember. Otherwise, the gym's going to be a train wreck. Um... Yeah, we're going to swap train. I might have to do a little bit of grinding. We got Jingle Skip. <laughs> My audio just wigged out. Nice. <laughs> Let's be honest, it's Pokemon Green. It doesn't take much to, to hack it. <laughs> So I'm going to need to uh, focus on Bulbasaur for now until we get that. That's very likely, Banjo, that that's going to end up happening. At least once in this. And that is the one that I'm kind of terrified of. When we actually do get the uh, Master Ball, I think I'm going to like write down the characters that I see and then immediately put that item in the uh, PC so that I... Don't end up using it. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta love the uh, true original sprites. One of the ones I think looks really uncomfortable is Mew in this one. There's actually, I assuming everything works the exact same way in this version as it does in the North American ones, uh, when we get to Cerulean, I actually... There's a, a glitch you can do to get a Mew. 
I can show that off if you guys want. <laughs> Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm really curious to see if that glitch does work here. So, I could. The thing about Missing No, though, is there's a, a, a YouTuber named Pokutips Mike, and he actually did a playthrough using Missing No as his main Pokemon. Missing No stats are garbage. Its attack is incredibly powerful, but that is the only thing it's got. Everything else is like a complete zero. And it was a rough run for him. So, probably not going with the with that one. Yeah, it does a lot of things to your, your game. Okay, so we're gonna come up here and we're going to save, if I can figure out which menu. Yeah, this one. And then I want to make sure Bulbasaur's up front. So we are under leveled and I don't have my grass move yet, but we're going to give this gym a shot. There's a sprite that doesn't look too bad. Its eyes look very anime, though. Just need a plushie of it, right? Probably want to heal. Yeah, the uh, Professor Oak fight. I've never actually done that before, and if I can figure out a way to force it in with this one, I would love to save that as like the true post-game fight. Because yeah, his, his team is super crazy. Kinda wish that feature had stayed in. Level 10 on Bulbasaur. Yeah. Okay, so I definitely want to get each seat off. There we go. Just in case we have to switch out. I think we can tank a hit with what we've got. Uh, sand, uh, sand attack. Yeah. Or what, what I thought would have been cool is with the remakes like the, uh, Fire Red Leaf Green or, um, the Let's Go games, if they had added in a fight with Professor Oak. Like, right at the end when you're doing... Well, you defeat the champion, you go to the Hall of Fame, you upload the Hall of Fame, and then at the end, of, right before the credits, you do a fight with him, and then it goes from there into the credits. <laughs> One thing I do like that they did in the Let's Go games is that when you go down to do the Mewtwo um, catch at the end of the game, um, after you've beaten Pokemon League, they actually brought Green into the story as well. It's the first time we see her in the mainline games. Oh, yeah, I haven't done the Sun and Moon games, um, well, much past, like, the first couple of gyms. Um, so that's cool that they added in a Professor Oak fight. 
Yeah, someday I'm gonna get around to doing a complete playthrough of, of those. I was really active in Gen 1, Gen 2, and then into Gen 3. After that, I kind of trickled out of Pokemon for a while and came back in with Sword and Shield. Now I'm wanting to go back and play through everything that I missed. Oh, and Pokemon Go. I did that too. Haven't done much with the spinoff games. Oh, okay, so I guess they did kind of bring it in at some point. Good to know. Oh, the, okay. I'm guessing it's a Kakui fight. Got it. What would be really cool is to see all of the Pokemon professors do their own tournament to see who's the best. Yeah, that is neat. I also like in, what was it, X and Y, they had multiple rivals, so you had a rival you were good against and a rival that was good against you, and you had frequent fights with them. Okay, so we're level 11 with Bulbasaur. I'm gonna go heal up. How many potions did I end up using? Still got two. Okay, so I'm gonna go heal up at the gym, or at the, heal up at the gym, heal up at the Pokemon Center, and then I think we'll probably take on Brock. How close are we? 83 experience to level 12. So I think if we can make it through Geodude with just our Bulbasaur, we should level up, get Vine Whip, and then we should be good to go for Onyx. First gym fight. We'll see if we can do this on the first try. That's an interesting sprite. Okay, it looks like we missed. There we go. Alright, so this is going to be a long one. <laughs> nah, it's not an odd-looking Pokemon. It's level 12. <laughs> By the way, I love dad jokes. Honestly, there's so I work a lot with uh, with kids with special needs as my outside of streaming profession, and there was a there's a story. There was a kid that liked to do this action with his mouth the way it is. It looks like he's going pfft, like he's about to explode very happily. So that's what's coming to mind for me. Like a ooga booga face or something. <laughs> Mega Jazz Hands, there you go. <laughs> Give uh, Mr. Mime a run for his money. Alright, I think I can tank one more tackle if it goes for it. Yeah, but we are definitely going to need to go up at this one. Uh, potions? Ha <laughs> ha! 
throw a Pokeball at it. Which one's the Pokeball? So if everything goes the way that I want it to, Bulbasaur is going to get um he should get it if I level up to 12. Okay, level 12. I think it is 14. We're hosed. <laughs> oh well. We'll see what we can do. I thought it was 12. Um Screech is not good. Okay, well we've got Leech Seed and we've got some potions. We do absolutely no damage. Um, you know what, I'm not going to waste my potions because we probably are going to lose anyway. Yeah, Nuzlocke would be done at this point. Um, I think I'm just going to stall out. We may just have to do a couple of, uh, retries on him. Because he also has Bide. <laughs> yep. You are not wrong. Okay, so there's Bide. At least I thought it was Bide, unless he's just like missing. There it is. That was it. Yeah, I honestly have no idea what's going on in this fight. At this point, I probably will just go ahead and potion. <laughs> yeah, I think we got it. Not the way I thought that was going to go. Especially because he's got like three screeches on me. Okay, and I think that was Bide right there, so I think we've won. <laughs> Pretty much. How about we just stop the fight here and I give you the badge because. because. I'll just take the badge from Shirtless Brock. <laughs> I haven't thought about it that way, Banjo. Awesome. So first gym is down. I'm trying to see how long I've been going. Um, I think I can go a little further. Might go all the way out to Mount Moon. Yeah, I I feel like they could have done better with with Onyx. His, his gimmick is that his defense is through the roof. But that means that he's terrible at everything else. He's like a rock chancy. Mm. 
and that's about the only thing he's got going for him. And then they gave him a Steel-type evolution, of course, so they made his defense even stronger. Okay, so I know I need potions, which are these ones. I got like five. And then a couple of Pokeballs. So I know the first lady's got a whole bunch of pages. So I'm wanting to work on getting Nidoran stronger here. Probably focus a little more on that one. Yeah, the, the rumor of the Crystal Onyx came from, um, I actually think came from the anime, because there was an episode where they they go deep into a cave and find a Crystal Onyx about the same time that the Pika Blue rumors were coming up. Which is kind of cool because, you know, like, what, 15, 16 years later, they added the Alolan forms. I'm just waiting for them to bring back Crystal Onyx. And then, like, the pink in the islands and the uh, orange league where everything had an alternate color, I think, was, like, the beginning of the shinies. I don't know how I'm attacking through, like, three, four sand attacks. Okay. This is the loop that I... Uh... There we go. All right, we're going to swap. <laughs> Get rid of all the accuracy drops. Yeah, they could do what they did with the uh, um, Flabebe. Where they have like three or four different forms. Or like the uh, Deerling. So you've got like the Crystal Geodude and the like the em oh, well, and it would also you could tie it in with Gen 3 with the Emerald Ruby and Sapphire Geodes oh and it would have been so cool if they brought him in with the um, brilliant yeah gold metal Steelix it's basically a shiny um, but yeah with all the underground spelunking stuff and the brilliant diamond shining pearl they should have brought a whole bunch of like special rock forms down there as well Excuse me. i mean if we're really wanting to delve deep into pokemon game upgrades I still think a Pokemon MMO would just be absolutely bonkers. Yeah. They could do a lot of things, especially I remember when the uh, Pokemon Go um, raid battle advertisements um, were all over the place and they were all in, like downtown New York and the timer went down and there was a Mewtwo that showed up and everyone was freaking out but it would be super cool if there was like a so a Pokemon MMO that takes all of the different um, continents yeah they would have to do it right but they take all the continents and you can start wherever you wanted or they could start you in Kanto and then sell them all as expansions I don't really care I would buy all of them um but they they have like things like the cerulean cave would be like a the equivalent to like a world of warcraft raid or a, a dungeon and you know people get like the legendary pokemon but actually only have a handful of them available every season or whatever you want to go with and uh so if you had a legendary you could you actually had something to flaunt
Yeah. I, I know, there's just so many cool things they could do. Yeah, I think the inspiration for Black and White was the Americas, particularly the, like, the New York area. I still think they should do an American West, or Southwest variant, so, um, kind of like the Stow on side area of, um, Sword and Shield. And they could do a whole bunch with, like, uh, Tauros and Bufalant. Yeah, X and Y was Europe. Um, the electric gym was pretty much a giveaway of the Eiffel Tower. And there's a lot of little French phrases and things thrown in there, so. So, yeah, either the American Southwest or, like, uh, Australia. could give like Kangaskhan its own form bring in some of the giant spiders like um Oak I can't remember how to pronounce it now the big water spider the Jupiter evolution Araquanid I think Pokemon down and Pokemon under. <laughs> or Pokemon shrimp and Pokemon on the Barbie. <laughs> Actually, Pokemon on the Barbie probably wouldn't, you know, sell very well. Or they could give Bidoof its own form and make it look like a platypus. They would sell millions. would be an interesting idea, bringing in those uh, Pokemon fusion memes. <laughs> Pladoof. <laughs> oh, this is all brilliant. We should work for Nintendo. Uh-oh. Things aren't in the right order. Um, I think this is my potions. Here's the shorts guy. I know exactly what this says. I like shorts. They're comfy and easy to wear. Okay, so I know one of... <laughs> Alright, sounds good. See you later, Hex. Oh, thanks for the follow. And it sounds like my notifications are not working the way I wanted to. Oh, well. <laughs> Alrighty. So I know one of these... One of the Nittos, um... Gets... Horn attack. And the other one gets double kick. I think this is double kick. No, scratch. Okay, that's good to know. That means we got Scratch and Tackle. I think Scratch is stronger. So I'm going to go for one more of those. Um, going to have 
to heal up again. Uh oh. I forgot which one. I think this is Scratch and this is Tackle. Let's swap out to Bulbasaur. <laughs> Speaking of Pokemon mashups, that's an unfortunate, uh, A very unfortunate looking sprite. <laughs> okay, so we got Tackle, Growl, and I think I just moved Vine Whip? One of these is Vine Whip. Is that? Yeah, that's Leech Seeds. Okay, so Leech Seeds at the bottom. I'm gonna have to remember where I put my moves. I was thinking it looked a little bit like a Psyduck. Oops. Not trapped in wrap anymore. Okay, so this is tackle. I think that's gonna be our best move right now. And I think I'm gonna keep going until I get to the uh, Pokemon Center outside of Mount Moon, and I think I'll call it a day there. Looks like 13 was the level we actually got Vine Whip, but not really something we need to worry about. Okay, I'm just going to run back to the Pokemon Center. down. Actually, we can serve on power points. I'm going to swap out and we're just going to go ahead and uh, use each seed. That'll help you whittle down the hit points.
perfecto. <coughs> uh, yes, so it's swamp out. I don't know what he's sending out. Can be. Can. <laughs> yeah, both Kakuna and Metapod are kind of wonky. the other one. Actually, I probably did want to swap, but between Tackle and Scratch, we should be fine. Definitely agree. Which is part of the reason why I wanted to do um, green instead of the others. There's a lot of people doing, uh, you know, red and blue North American runs, but not too many people doing green. And Bulbasaur is always my favorite, so... No, the rate we're going experience-wise, we may have either an Ivysaur or a Nidorina by the time we make it to Mount Moon. You know what? I almost think that sprite looks better than the uh, red and blue. The North American ones. I think that was Leer. And that's Pex. Ooh, okay, so I'm definitely going to want to... Uh, not have to switch to Bulbasaur here. Eh, I guess you're right, it does kind of have a weird little wonky line in it now that I'm looking at it. I think I can tank one more hit. Ooh, that was close. Do I want to use all my potions? And this is going to be a really good experience, but... Okay. Okay. I think we're still faster. Nope, it's faster than us. Okay. Uh... Yes! Head back to the Pokemon Center. I think I've got two, maybe three more trainers to fight. those ones, so this one's next. I think this one has a couple of Nidorans, if I remember. Or Rattata Nidoran. I think that animation is Quick Attack. The one that I'm worried about is Super Fang and Hyper Fang. Easy fight. 
selesai. Okay, I think that one is double kick. I'm gonna give it a shot just in case. No. What is that animation? Poison Sting? I think that's Poison Sting. Okay. It's poison Sting, Scratch, and Tackle. I think is the, the moves that we've got. That one's del er, Horn Attack. So we got Scratch, they got Horn Attack. Because Double Kick's going to be nice when that comes in. Double Kick is a Nidoqueen Queen could be vicious. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and potion up. Last one that we have. And this should be a Bug Catcher. Yeah, that's Poison Sting. Still think our Scratch is more effective though. poison. Oh, we're gonna need to... Well, I guess we don't really need to know the status effects. I have no idea. I don't think I'm gonna, like, try to do everything everything, but I don't know, maybe the next week or so. I kind of want to see if this will take me all the way up to the release of Diamond and Pearl. I'm really excited for those ones and definitely will be streaming that once I get it. Scratch does more damage, yeah. We'll go with that. Alright, bug catcher down. I think we got one more trainer. And actually, Nidoran is stronger than Bulbasaur. So we're going to do this with Bulbasaur. That looks almost exactly like the red-blue sprite. I wonder if that one was one that stayed. they were going for the perspective thing where when you're looking from the side one's a little closer than the other I think this is also the exact reason they brought in was it Kensugi Mori to help fix some of the sprites for red and blue granted I still think some of the sprites for this generation uh, the ones that I remember look pretty cool and I think they should stay should have stayed what I would also love to see is someone make a, a gen 2 ROM hack that um, brings in some of the space world sprites there are a couple of Pokemon that were potential on that one that would have been just awesome okay uh, Vine Whip. 
Wait, what? Oh, it knows disable. That one's disabled. Okay. I hate Gen 1 sleep. to Mount Moon. So I am going to go ahead and save it here and we'll pick back up on another day. Alright, so we'll catch y'all later and enjoy the rest of your evening. <laughs>